Hi, and welcome to ECCB Connects, a program where we share with you who we are, what we do, and how we serve you. This week, we will discuss the sixth annual Growth and Resilience Dialogue. Stay with us, we will be right back. Join the dialogue. The ECCB, OECS Commission, the World Bank, and the UE present the sixth Growth and Resilience Dialogue a free two-day virtual event. More solutions, more innovation. Join as subject matter experts, business professionals, and thought leaders share perspectives and solutions addressing climate change challenges for Caribbean energy, tourism, and health sectors. solution-oriented, insightful, and engaging two-day virtual event. See the AI Climate Resilience Data Challenge finalists compete for $10,000 US dollars. Inviting CEOs, entrepreneurs, farmers, builders, students, financial service providers, and health service providers. Join the dialogue when you attend the ECCB 6th Growth and Resilience Dialogue, Climate Resilience, Securing the Future of Small Island Developing States, and register to attend. Today, our guest is Sybil Welsh, Senior Project Specialist in the Project and Technical Assistance Unit. Sybil, welcome to ECCB Connects. We're happy to have you today. Thank you, Nigel. It's a pleasure to be here. As the ECCB prepares for its sixth annual Growth and Resilience Dialogue, I could recall we had a previous interview where we spoke with Dr. Charles on the day two, that is the data challenge, which will be taking place on the 7th of April. But from my understanding, this is a two-day event, the 6th and the 7th of April. What is happening on the first day of the dialogue? The theme for the sixth Growth and Resilience Dialogue is climate resilience, securing the future of small island developing states. And so what this provides, this dialogue really, is a platform for technocrats, business leaders, academics, thought leaders to engage the listening public on areas of challenges, of lessons learned, of experiences, but also solutions on the way forward. And so that's really what this is about. It's really an engagement of the public to discuss issues that are pertinent to our development agenda. At this time, we're speaking about climate resilience. Climate resilience, very interesting theme. Tell us why this theme at this particular time. This is very important. When we speak about climate resilience, we speak about the development issues that impact um, our small island states, you know. Many leaders have said for other countries it's a climate change, but for our countries it's really a climate crisis. Because many of our economic sectors that drive our economy are really very climate sensitive. We're speaking about our agriculture, our fisheries, our construction, our insurance, our tourism sectors. Um, all of these are critical industries and when they're impacted by climate change as well we say a climate crisis, then we have to look at how do we confront those challenges? How do we overcome? How do we surmount? Because we have to focus on securing lives, livelihoods, and economies of our small island developing states to move forward from strength to strength in spite of all the challenges that we face. Hence, this is forum provides such a platform for our engagement, but for also solutions to contend and for us to move forward with greater strength and understanding. Very fitting indeed. Sybil, the ECCB is collaborating with a number of partners to host this event. Who are the players involved? Collaboration is key to what we do at the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. And so one of our first partners on this initiative is our, our mother institution, as we call it, from the Treaty of Bastia that really identified the need to have a full-fledged central bank. And that is the OECS Commission. And then we have the World Bank, an international partner. 
and we could not forget academia. So the University of the West Indies, and that rounds out our major partners. Of course, in doing this important initiative, we have had to have partners um, both at the regional level and the international level beyond our major partners. I would imagine, Sybil, that there are various presenters who will be sharing um, in this dialogue. What are some of the topics that will be covered? The topics for the panel discussion focus on three major areas. As I indicated previously, we're focusing on the issues of renewable energy, the issues of health and nutrition, and tourism resilience in the face of climate change. To be more specific, when we look at the actual discussion points, we're going to look at the ECCB's renewable energy initiatives. One of the things that we do is lead by example. And so at the Central Bank, we have put ourselves also at the forefront of using solar energy as an alternative. Um, we will talk about the OECS renewable energy initiatives and we will look at the role of renewable energy in sustainable development. So those three topics will round out um, our discussion. And then in the second topic, when we look at climate resilience, health and nutrition, we're going to look at what are the mitigating um, steps that we can take to address the impact of climate change on the region's human health. And we will look also at developing and financing climate change resilient health systems as we shift our models and respond to the challenges we have to look at how do we finance these newer and more improved systems that are required for us to mitigate the challenges of climate crisis and then what is the impact on the food we eat how does climate change really that we have to look at it through the lens of we are consuming um, these foods that we plant, our vegetables, our, our fish, fish and other foods from the sea, how are they impacted and what can we do to address or mitigate um, any adverse impact on our food? Because, you know, we need food. As, as organisms, we need food to survive. So it's important that we, we address the changes in a very focused and secure manner. And then, and then tourism. As we said, thor tourism is the, 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 the mainstay of our economies when it comes to earning foreign exchange, when it comes to being the single country, main contributor to GDP. And so we have to look at how can we continue to evolve that tourism model to be more eco-friendly, to be more resilient to the, the challenges of climate change. And so subtopics would include early warning signals um, to respond effectively, um, transforming tourism for climate resilient. And what is that framework? How can we have a framework that really provides a, a, a baseline for, on which we can build a foundation on which, which we can build a more secure and resilient tourism product. And that rounds out our discussion. But it's not just the panelists who are going to be talking. We are going to have those who are in attendance, those who register, and let me say registration for this is free. So it's a must attend. Um, those who attend um, virtually, it's a virtual, will be able to ask questions. So it's really an engagement. It's not a talk to or a talk at. It's really a talk with. It's a conversation. It's a discussion. And that's where that uh, more important discussions and challenges are put, or put forth, but even more important, where more solutions emerge from that discussion. Sybil, you said this is a free event. How do persons get involved? How do they participate? Registration is open on our ECCB website. So eccb-centralbank.org is the address for our website. And when they go to that website, they just seek for the six growth and resilience dialogue, and they will see a form that they can just complete to be part of this on our Zoom platform. But in addition to that, 
they can also join us. We have so many ways for persons to connect with us. And so on our social media pages, be it Facebook and YouTube, our ECCB Connects pages, they can also join. That would be live stream. And so they can also join. And I want to say to persons, there is a prize for persons who sign up early. So if you sign up early to register on our platform to be in attendance, you have the opportunity to potentially be part of that lucky person. You be you not be part of, you could be that lucky person. When we do that online raffle, that your name will be selected and you will win an amazing prize. Sybil, this appears to be a very interesting event that will take place coming up on the 6th and the 7th of April. Thank you so much for speaking with us on ECCB Connects. It was a pleasure having you. The pleasure has been mine. Thank you. We now present Did You Know? element of keeping our EC dollars strong and stable involves the ECCB's management of the region's pool of foreign reserves. These reserves, which back the EC currency, comprise of foreign cash and bank balances held abroad and foreign securities such as treasury bills and bonds. We're almost at the end of Season 18 of ECCB Connects. The final episode is March 30th. But we'll be back in May with new and exciting episodes to share with you who we are, what we do, and how we serve you. We've come to the end of another episode of ECCB Connects. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for another program on who we are, what we do, and how we serve you. <laughs>